they want you to either do intern first or FYP and then or FYP then intern first. What intern. is yeah. For you, page. Okay. For you, page. <laughs> FYP is final year project. <laughs> Ada. <laughs> And welcome back to my YouTube channel, it's me Farazan and Assalamualaikum Welcome to another episode of the Poet Learning Series And this video marks the last episode of the first Poet Learning Series As I mentioned earlier on my fourth episode, uh, I will be continuing it next year for the second series So don't worry, uh, so from the title itself, you guys can actually know what I roughly gonna talk more about so that will be biomedical science. So you guys know who is the guest, but you don't know what is the name and wait, where, which poly is she from. So let's meet the guest right now. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button, give this video a huge thumbs up, and turn on the notification bell button. Let's meet the guest right now. Hello Kat, thank you so much for coming and no zooming through my call. So okay, so Kat. Um, can you tell us what's your name, what's your poly course, and the same time which poly are you coming from? Okay, so I think this is a bit like up. So, hello. So, uh, my name is Katija Alia. I am from Republic Polytechnic, and the course that I'm currently taking right now is Biomedical Science. So since you say that you took, uh, you are currently taking biomedical science. So maybe you want to talk more. What is biomedical science, and what modules are you like currently learning in the April semester itself? Okay, so biomedical science is mainly on research based. So like, you get to work inside a laboratory. Um, if you are interested in like learning about cancer cells or like, um, diseases that like you want to treat diseases, uh, this is probably the course for you. Um, research. Um, uh, what courses I'm taking right now? Courses. What modules? <laughs> what modules I'm taking right now is um, I'm taking anatomy and physiology, um, biochemistry, uh, chemistry, biology, uh, microbiology. So and there's this few other like um courses in RP courses modules <laughs> in RP that uh require that is um. Uh, required to take so they are called life skills so life skills one two three critical thinking and innovation and practice there's a lot that i can barely remember but yes you have to pass all of them so that you can get into the next stage so yeah what will be your job in the future is there different types of career okay. pathway and stuff like that uh, okay so um before we talk about my job, I'll talk about the job ex ex aspects. So, like, if you take biomedical science, you're you are entitled to get like biomedical research, biomedical research assistant, uh, lab technician, lab 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 technician. Hmm? Yeah, something like that. Mainly jobs in the laboratory. So, like for me, I wanted to I want to be a chiropractor or physiotherapist. Mm. So, like. Instead of taking like, <laughs> instead of taking like a course that directly allows me to um get chiropractor and physiotherapist, um I decided to take biomed because um if I cannot get like chiropractor or physiotherapist or somewhere along the lines where like I'm in poly I'm interested in something else other than that I can use it as like I can use biomed as like. To get me there mm -hmm. also so that it's like a branch do you have attachment for your year one no 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 attachment. only year three year three uh, internship year three. year three yeah so internship so um they say there is fyp and there is internship so about that your it depends on your um uh lecturer so they want you to either do intern first or fyp and then or fyp then intern first I'm not sure about my one, but from what I've heard from seniors, they say that about usually it's FYP first. Then FYP is what? Yeah. For you page. <laughs> okay. For you page. FYP <laughs> is final year project. <laughs> Ada! For you page. <laughs> FYP. If I want to be, you know. <laughs> but nah. <laughs> Final year project. Okay, okay. Final year project. <laughs> Oh my god, out of all the things you want to think about is 
so Kat, last last question. So like, um, since you you experienced biomedical science for a semester already, maybe what's your advice for Sec Four students who want to maybe focus on biomedical science? What should they prepare physically and mentally if they want to, you know, uh, if they are intending to try this course? Okay, so mainly for biomed, right? Like they focus more on cells. So like sickle cell anemia. Um, what was that cell called? Yeah, it's mainly about the human cells, the cells anywhere, the disease diseases are basically so like uh, for me I think you guys should read up more on the cellular side. So like um all the information about like what's in the cell, like how it can be infected and then like all that stuff la. and um what else? Okay, so don't be disheartened that you got you are in physics chem combination, but you still can't do biomedical science. Don't be disheartened because they are still gonna start from scratch. Mm-hmm. From like when you learn in um what basically like the secretary for um right they want to they have biology right. It's just they are recapping it also mm-hmm. so. Don't don't worry. I took physics chem and then I took bio in PFP and it was fine for me. So okay, so far the modules overall yeah. is it heavy content? Heavy content. Yes. <laughs> uh, last sem was quite heavy content. Some of especially for bio. Mm-hmm. Okay, bio so what I remember from learning bio was um. You learn about clinical trials, so like um, the steps in clinical trials, and then like from okay, there's a lot, and there's a lot that I have to revise on. But like yes, so you learn about inheritance, which is very interesting, mm. genetics, and a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff, a lot, a lot of stuff referring to back to like the human organization, to like cell tissue, yeah, muscle, all that stuff. So yeah. So, if you are interested in science Keep it yeah, Okay, you never know when it's going to be super useful yes, I Keep like, your notes also yeah, Please yeah, keep your yeah, notes yes, yes. Also have like bullet journals So like your bullet journal doesn't have to be those Pinterest worthy looking Instagram worthy looking kind of like books Okay, it, as long as you stick by it And it's very simple, minimalist, anything like, And it helps you Then good for you um, Because you can write all the stuff that you think is important in class in that book and then you can like transfer it back into your notes and then it's also served as like a planner and like um remember like reminders yes so like um for example oh i have to do um biochem later i have to finish up reading about cell theory it helps you like refresh like as long as you remember to write in it that, mm, that's that the thing then and you have to remember to write in it, then it will be useful towards you. Do you have anything else to add on before we end the video? Okay. Please study well. Um, what I can say is that don't give up because you may think that it's the end already. La. Like, you think that whatever result that you get, you won't like it. For example, for me, right, for PFP, like, um, I have friends that got into PFP, but they were not able to go through it because of their English. So they got a 4 for their English, or was it math? So, uh, they had to go the longer route, which is towards, like, Sec 5, and then uh, um, towards Poly. But, you see, even if um, you have these kind of difficulties, right, please do not give up, like, you may think that the result the results define you, but they don't really. Like, I have friends that are currently in poly. Year one, same as me, but they are scoring way better than me. <laughs> so, like, um, you see, like, even, even if you take the longer path, it's fine. Because as long as you know what the end goal is in for you, which is, like, you want to get, you want to do this, you want to do that, then... I feel like that's good enough already. Oh, so I forgot to mention this. 
Yes. Okay. So RP RP has um RJ, which is Reflection Journal. So like every at the end of the day before two three five nine. Two three five nine is the most common word the uh, sentence that you hear in the whole entire of your stay in RP. Two three five nine. Um, that's when you have to submit in your reflection journal. So your reflection journal can be like the the lecturers will give you a topic for the day and then they will like say like oh what do you learn in today's um, class? Um, they probably give you like uh, they probably give you like a problem and then they ask you to solve it. Or they give my my teachers have been very nice to me and giving me things about life. Mm. So like there is one that says like. Other than practice makes perfect, what is the other phrase that you consider your life as a meaning, something like that. Mm-hmm. And then I was like, oh, with every hardship, there will be peace. Sliding in the, sliding in the, the, the Islamic, the, the words, the meanings, yeah, boy, okay, sorry. <laughs> but like, yeah. So if, if you are willing to do that, then I don't. Then you are welcome to RP. Mm. But yeah, I think that's, that's pretty much about it, lah. Okay, so uh, Katija, thank you so much for coming in today's video, uh, giving a lot of advices, no uh, giving your ex- uh, sharing your experiences, and if you guys want to uh, hit her up on Instagram, this <laughs> Instagram down below. <laughs> Okay, you guys can follow her. Yo, the last time somebody hit me up was like, <laughs> <laughs> never. Okay, thank you so much, Kat. No problem. It's been long since I last saw you. Bye bye.